Hey guys, this is for Aries. My name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for you guys. We'll just see what pops up with some Oracle and some Tarot. Okay. All right. So you got deep knowing the tribe and breathe. Okay. So first of all, all three of these cards remind me of, um, like abilities, like your intuitive abilities, psychic abilities, deep knowing, you know what I mean? Kind of like psychic knowing, knowing things, um, that most other people don't kind of just see or know, you know what I mean? Then you have the tribe, which reminds me of like a soul family, right? And then you have breathe, which is like a manifestation card. Um, also, man, um, meditating, right? Okay, so I feel like whatever that you're going through right now, you feel like you know this is meant to be, right? The, tr the tribe is like going to people if you're feeling lost or you're needing some type of help. The tribe is people that you can go to in order to help you. I don't know why I can't think right now, right? Okay, so you got the Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Moon. Okay, I feel like right now, within a marriage, within um, something that you're committed to, right? The Seven of Swords and the Moon kind of tells me that um, somebody was trying to be slick and get, get away with certain things and they were trying to kind of hide some things from you. You may still not even know what they were, okay? You might even not know that there is a secret, but um, in Aries, constantly back to back to back is something about sneakiness. It could be lying, cheating, stealing, anything like this, hiding stuff from you, withholding information, you know what I mean? Within a marriage, within something that you're committed to. So it could be friends, it could be family, it could be people at your job, you know what I mean? Something is hi Someone is hiding something from you. But the good thing is like when things are hidden, things always come to light, right? So I feel like you're on to them, right? With the Page of Swords, you're kind of like... The, the confusion is starting to fade and you're starting to notice that something is up, right? You're also, the Page of Swords is talking about like spying on somebody through the internet. So maybe if this person is um, lying, I feel like you may be going through like their phone or something, trying to look up some stuff, trying to check and see, you know, if what you're seeing is right. Um, people are texting me and that's annoying. I feel like you're trying to check their stuff, you know what I mean? Watching them, watching their actions, um, listening to their words, paying attention to a lot of stuff. Like, Page of Swords is like very logical thinking, okay? So, I mean, like, I don't feel like you're feeding into, like, their crap and their lies anymore. I feel like you're starting to see right through it, right? And with the moon, is like, you know, I feel like secrets are about to start coming out. If they didn't already, I feel like they are. The Breathe card, I feel like, is a meditation card. Also saying, take some time out, okay, to, like, stop stressing. Take some time out to, like, recoup for you and do some things that are going to make you, like, feel better, okay? The tribe is also saying, like, maybe you need to ask some friends for help. Go to some family for support, you know what I mean? Deep knowing, I feel like, I don't know, whatever the situation is, it's like deep knowing. You know that there is something going on behind the scene, but you can't put your finger on it, you know what I mean? The Queen of Cups, all right, you may be dealing with a water sign, or it could just be saying that you are emotionally cut off from this person. I feel like it's somebody that you had a lot of love for, but they kind of screwed that for you, you know what I mean? What's the person that Aries is dealing with? The Wheel of Fortune, somebody who's unpredictable, okay? This is also an ending, okay? So I feel like there's an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one starting because you're starting to see clear now. You're starting to not feed into the crap, right? You're starting to look right through them. The person that you're dealing with. Okay, they're all upside down. I'm not doing that. My kid's crying. Hold on. Okay, so the person that you're dealing with, they got the Strength card, the Hierophant, and the Two of Cups. They did all come out in reverse, and then the Three of Swords on the bottom. Okay, the person that you're dealing with could be um, cheating, breaking your heart. They can also be hiding something from you. You got the Hierophant. This person may be a Taurus, too. And they could be a Leo. They could be a lot of signs, right? Okay, anyway, that doesn't always matter. But I feel like this person that you're dealing with want, needs guidance, needs help, or is going to somebody for help. They could be going to a psychic, trying to get some answers. I don't know. But I feel like with the Hierophant, they could be going to somebody that is going to be helping them. So it could be like a counselor or something. I don't know. They're bowing down in front of somebody. I don't know. This could be like a court thing or maybe something's going on, right? But I feel like this is an ending of a cycle. The Strength card was in reverse, right? And so was the Two of Cups. I feel like there is no more love going to be offered from this um situation it's like you don't want this love offer um that they're you know i don't even think they're going to give you a love offer they probably already know that you're not um going to give in to them so the hierophant and this was in reverse 
I feel like, okay, maybe, you know what, since they were in reverse, I feel like they're not going to people for advice when they really need help. I feel like they need help, yeah, but they're not asking for it, right? The strength card, they're not strong right now. They're kind of very weak. They're very, um, they're struggling because I feel like they know that you caught on to their stuff. Yeah, and they're not, um, they're not happy. This is really upsetting them. What are you going through? Okay, and for the Six of Pentacles, there was no give and take in this relationship. I feel like you were probably doing more of um, the love part, and I feel like they were doing more of like the sneaky stuff behind your back. The Four of Pentacles, somebody's holding on too long, right? Holding on to something that's no longer serving them anymore. Feeling stuck, okay? You got Four of Wands and Four of Pentacles. I definitely feel stuck here. What's your favorite thing to do is cry. Oh, she's fine, though. You got the King of Pentacles. She's going to come. King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. You are finally starting to see right through the crap, like I said. Right? The King of Pentacles. You're, ju you're just focusing on you right now. You're focusing on your stability, on your money, on your career, on your business, whatever this is. What else about you? Hold on. Sorry about that. Um, let's get some cards for you. Nine of Cups, I think it was. So you got the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Fool, and the Nine of Cups. Alright, so you've been wishing for this new star and it's about to happen for you, you know what I mean? I feel like it's finally about to happen. I did say last week that they're finally leaving in the love reading, okay? I feel like something is about to happen to you. You may be moving, you may be just like moving a new job, you may be you know, um, leaving this relationship, but I feel like you want to leave this relationship because you know that this person is hiding something from you. They're trying to hide something from you. They're being sneaky. They're not telling the truth. It's like you got to go behind their back and try to find out what they're doing. You're feeling stuck and they, you know, you're feeling stuck and, you know, I feel like somebody's holding on too much and you're not allowing this, um, cycle to end, right? So the Hierophant is about listening to your intuition. I think this is saying, you know, I feel like, you know, what you got to do? The cherry on the bottom of the deck. Okay, definitely might be moving. If not moving, it can just be saying that you're moving on from the situation, regardless of moving, leaving, whatever. You're ready to go. Um, you got the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish Granted card and the Fool. I feel like once, I feel like you came, you're noticing their crap, right? You're seeing right through them. You're focused on your career now. You're focused on you. You're focused on your healing and doing what you got to do for you. And doing that is just going to help you be able to move on to what you want, bigger and better things. You know what I mean? I feel like there is something that you've been wishing for. I don't know if it's wishing for the sending, wishing for a new start. Whatever you're wishing for is about to be granted. All right? So whatever you're praying for, asking the universe for, whatever, it's going to come. So don't give up. On the bottom of the deck, it's got beauty, okay? So, like, notice the beauty within yourself. Doesn't matter what other people say to you or feel about you. You are still, you know good enough you have belonging and con conclusion wow isn't that some crap i keep on telling you it's an ending yeah i don't know i feel like it's this month it doesn't have to be tomorrow or right now i feel like it's the by may i feel like it's going to be the ending you got conclusion i'm not even going to read that we all know what conclusion means but i'm going to read this one card that says belonging it says, come and enter the house of night, for when you choose a symbol, you have joined us in the community of beauty, friendship, and secrets only shared and known among my chosen one. You were chosen to belong. The symbol also tells you that you are in a, also tells you that you're in the right place right now. You're at home. Be at home inside yourself. Learn to, I can't read for some reason. Be at home inside yourself. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. When you choose a symbol, know that Inex Goddess of Night has chosen you. Alright, so just know that, you know, you are you and you should be fine. Be happy with you. That's why you also have the beauty card, you know what I mean? You have to see the beauty inside yourself for other people to start seeing that too. And just know that you are all that you need in order to move forward. And the only thing that can hold you back is us, you know what I mean? Our own thoughts, our own actions, and what we feel and believe about ourselves, you know? Um, I do see this new star coming for you guys soon. It's coming. If you guys feel like, you know, it ain't happening, I feel like it's happening, okay? You got the chariot, the fool, you know, the wheel of fortune, the ending, you know what I mean? I feel like whatever they do now is not going to matter because you finally seeing their true colors and um, that's going to help you, right? Thank you for watching and take care.
Bye-bye.